This is Proof 1940 Jefferson Nickel. Graded as PR65 Cameo by PCGS. Important as a strike rarity, precious few Proof 1940 Jefferson Nickels display the degree of field-to-device contrast that characterize the finish on both sides of this gem. Delicate golden iridescence in the fields, the devices exhibit hazy silver apricot highlights. This gem ended up selling for $1,035. Number 7. Attractively toned 1960 D. Roosevelt Dime. Graded in mint state 67 full bands by PCGS. Brilliant on the reverse, the obverse is ringed in vivid, mottled, reddish russet and sea green peripheral toning. Such richly frosted and smooth, this coin is sure to please even the most discerning Roosevelt dime collector. This low pop dime fetched a sum of $1,495 at auction. Number 6. 1964 D. Washington Quarter in MS 67 condition. According to NGC, a mintage of 700 million quarters was unimaginable just two or three years earlier. In actual fact, the Denver Mint coined only 123,801,308 quarters in 1964, the remainder being struck the following year courtesy of a date freeze. The year of striking is, of course, indistinguishable by looking at the coins. These coins were made carelessly and in a hurry, so finding gems can be a challenge. A generous number have been certified through MS66, but finer pieces are in short supply and bring strong prices. This MS67 gem ended up selling for $2,530. Number 5. 1945 P. Jefferson Nickel in MS67 condition. With remarkably vivid toning in multiple colors blanketing smooth, frosty features. The huge mintage of 1945 P. Nickel seems to have led to rushed work of mediocre quality. Most are not fully struck, and worn dyes are frequently seen. On the plus side, so many mint state pieces survive that finding a decent one is just a matter of patience. This superb gem fetched a sum of $3,737.50 at auction. Number 4. 1951 D. Roosevelt Dime in MS-68 condition with full bands. Splendid olive gold and reddish-orange iridescence yields to brilliance in only a few isolated areas. Highly lustrous with fulsome mint frost, this pristine-looking superb gem really needs to be seen to be fully appreciated. It was sold for $4,600. Number 3. 1926 S. Lincoln Scent in MS-64 red condition. A key issue to completion of a high-grade Lincoln Scent collection. The 1926S is seldom offered with full red surfaces. This is just such a near gem, however both sides with original autumn orange color. Bold to sharp and strike, with a satiny texture that even reveals glints of modest semi-reflectivity in the fields at isolated angles. There are no sizable or otherwise individually distracting blemishes to report. It ended up selling for $10,351.15. Number 2. 1960 D. Large Date Penny. Graded in Mint State 67 Red by PCGS. Delightful Rose Red Luster dominates the outward appearance of this coin, although we do note blushes of pale gold tinting in isolated areas at the rims. A fully struck, satin textured superb gem with nary a detracting blemish to report. In 1960 the U.S. Mint struck a large date and a small date variety for the Lincoln scent. For the large date, the nine digit in the date is higher than that of the small date. On the large date the top of the nine digit is significantly higher than the one digit in the date. This large date specimen ended up selling for $8,050. Number 1. 1939 Jefferson Nickel with reverse of 1938. A proof issue in PR68 condition. Grade is endorsed by CAC. Silky smooth surfaces are adorned with beautiful silver rose, powder blue and pale gold iridescence. Uniformly mirrored in finish, with a full strike and the strongest technical merits available in a proof Jefferson Nickel of this date. The 1939 Jefferson Nickel with reverse of 1938 was produced in a relatively small quantity. Out of the 120 million nickels produced in this year, there were about 10% that had the reverse of the 1938. Out of that 10%, there were 1 in 1,000 that can be found with the full step designation. This rarity fetched a sum of $18,400 at auction. Thanks for watching this video. Your likes and comments are highly appreciated guys. Support us by just hitting thumbs up and smashing subscribe buttons. Take care.